Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hold for all the Microsoft 365 error code CAA50024 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer when attempting to sign into your Microsoft apps. And this is typically caused by the incorrect configuration of the mobile device management service, which is a service that's used by Microsoft apps in the Azure AD Admin Center. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I would suggest doing would be to check your date and time settings down in your system tray. If they're not correct, you may need to right click on the date and time and select adjust date and time. And then in here, you may want to scroll down and sync now underneath additional settings. Go ahead and sync up your time. And then once that's done, close out of here. And I'm going to have a file path in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it and then paste it into the top search bar up here. I don't have one in my case because I don't actually have Microsoft Teams actively using files on your, my computer. But if you did, there should be a folder location that would open up, in which case you would go in there and just clear out any files within the cache of Microsoft Teams. Just highlight over anything in that folder directory and then delete it. And then restart your computer. So again, that's something else I'd recommend taking a look at. Something else we're going to try here too, if you open up the search menu, type in programs, best match, should say add or remove programs, open that up. Search for Teams, best match, you come back on Microsoft Teams, select the three dotted icon next to it, and select advanced options. If you scroll down, the first option underneath reset, if the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected, select repair. And if you're still having a problem after that, you can go and select the second option here, where if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And give that a moment. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.